Good morning and welcome to another Defined video. I'm excited to share with you this awesome zoom effect and bonus tip, add it to your Instagram or YouTube end screen for some creativity drama. Now, I know there's thousands of other videos that covers this exact same effect, but in my opinion, they all kind of look the same. The feeling I'm looking to achieve should look like a normal photo, but after staring at it for a while, it should kind of feel like you're tripping. The most important thing you should keep in mind is the type of picture you want to use in order to get a good outcome. A picture with a busier background is not going to work as good as a picture with a plain or blurred out background. Something like this should definitely work. Here's where things get a bit interesting. Instead of zooming the background part of the image out and the main part of the image in, why not zoom the background image out but shrinking it a little bit? This is going to help you achieve the trippy effect and playing around with the zoom effect, not zooming in too much and not zooming in too little is definitely going to help you achieve the trippy look. The image should definitely look a bit off, but looking at the picture, you shouldn't be able to tell exactly where that image looks off. So whenever you look away from the picture, it should feel like it's just your imagination and you were imagining things and that this picture is actually standing still or you feel a bit trippy when you look at it. So get out there, take some images and let's dive right into the tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up After Effects, select your image, go ahead and make a new composition. Mine's about 20 seconds, Full HD. Then once you've opened up your composition, head over to your image, drag that in and work with some scaling. So in this case, I'm going to scale it down a bit just that it fits the comp perfectly and then I'm going to want to make a selection on my image as well as the rocks so that I can get that full added effect. Just going to fast forward this bit so that you don't watch me make a selection for the majority of this video. Okay, great, so I've made my selection. I'm going to want to press Control D on my keyboard to duplicate the layer. Select your background image or the bottom one, press M to select the mask, and you can simply delete the mask on the background image. This is going to give you a background and a foreground image. Now, on the background one, I'm going to want to adjust the scaling a bit. I'm going to stretch it out, make it a bit bigger, so that it gives you that trippy effect. Okay, so you can press S on your keyboard, make sure that scale is keyframed, head over to 8 seconds and work on the scaling. I'm going to make it a bit bigger and a bit shallower. Over there looks perfect, this is going to give you a good trippy effect. And then once I'm done with that, select your top layer, press P, and then again Shift plus S to select your position and scale, keyframe it, head over to 8 seconds, and make sure that your toggle mask is turned off. And then you can start adjusting the scale, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger and move it up a little bit, just so that it overlines with the background image. You can go a bit more advanced and remove the background image in Photoshop first, so that you don't get an effect where you see the background image as well, so it looks like it's duplicate. So right there looks perfect. This is a great effect and it looks kind of trippy, especially with that background image being trimmed down a bit. Now I like to go over to color grading and just color grade the background a bit and make the foreground image a different color. 
I think that looks great um, and it gives you a, a bit more drama in your image. For the foreground one, I'm going to add that brightness so that it's not too dark. And then if you go ahead and play it, I love that effect. So that's it for the tutorial. As you can see, there is a bit of the background in the image. Um, what you can do to, to fix that is just head over to Photoshop, fix that background image, and you're done. Bonus tip. Since you're editing in After Effects, you're going to save this image as a video format. You can then later on convert it to a GIF format, upload it to Instagram, and make people wonder what the hell is going on with this exact image. Another thing you can do is render 20 seconds of the clip upload it to YouTube and use it as one of your end screens. So that's it for today's tutorial. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, be the fun.